We're in southern Texas on the U.S.-Mexico border, and we're just observing what it's like now that Title 42 has ended, and there are less restrictions for people coming into the United States. Some of our law enforcement allies say that it's very busy, and others say that it's very quiet in their towns right now along the border. I guess it depends on what areas the cartel are focusing on pushing the most people through at the time. But with Title 42 ending, that means greater flow, which means greater people coming in with different ailments and illnesses and diseases. Not only that, but the child trafficking and all of the other harm and the criminals and all of it. Um, you know, violent rapists and, and the whole nine yards. So with our federal government assisting the people that are coming into our country illegally deeper into the United States with aircraft and with buses, people filming law enforcement, they don't seem like they want to be filmed. Well, if they're doing something honorable, why would they be ashamed of that to not want to be filmed? And it's just a curious situation. What nation does not enforce its own borders and have control of who comes in? You have to know who comes in so that you can safeguard your people from it. So we're seeing people come in from virtually every nation on earth. There's, there's no reason that anybody would be stopped at this point from coming in. So they could bring in whatever they want, including any sort of weapons and chemicals and bioweapons, you name it. So yeah, it begs some very, very difficult questions. What's going on? Why is our national leadership not enforcing the law to a greater degree and safeguarding American citizens in such a crazy, crazy time? Who am I if I can't stand up for the smallest and most defenseless and most innocent and precious among us? Who, what kind of warrior can even look after a child?